Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to give you some important tips how to score uh, uh, high marks in the public examination. Uh, the first and foremost thing you should do is to make sure uh, whether you have taken all the uh, stationery such as pen, uh, pencil, eraser, uh, everything before you are going to appear for the test. After you have entered the examination hall and you can uh, take your seat and you will be given the question paper. After you have received the question paper, the first thing you should do is to go through all the questions. Uh, if it is English examination, there are uh, 47 questions. First you have to go through all the questions thoroughly and you can make sure whether uh, you know the answer for uh, all the questions and you can tick uh, the answers, I mean the questions that uh, you have already known the answers uh, uh, thoroughly and as much as possible try to uh, write uh, the answers for the uh, well known answers, I mean that uh, you have already learnt the answers thoroughly that uh, should be written in the uh, first page and you can just avoid writing unknown questions in the first page itself and that can be written by you at last and uh, the very important thing you should write that uh, question number itself. it's very 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 important because some students what they are doing is they don't write the question number properly and you have to uh, write that uh, question number roman letter uh, on the margin uh, very correctly and uh, the next one is time management it's, it's very very important you should try to finish your test within the stipulated period of time you are already allotted the time and as much as possible, uh, try to finish writing uh, your test within that uh, particular time. And don't take too long for certain questions. In this way, you may not be able to write all the questions. At the 11th hour, you may have to hurry up. So in order to avoid such a thing, uh, uh, allot the time for all the questions correctly and you can try to finish it. As much as possible, uh, try to uh, finish your uh, test at least uh, 5 or 10 minutes before so that you can find some time. And you can go through all your answers uh, right from the beginning. And if you do not know the answer for certain questions, you don't take uh, too long to think of the answer for that question. You can just leave it. Uh, and you can write that question at last. And uh, as much as possible, just um, uh, underline the important uh, keywords. Uh, this is very important because that would enable for the examiner uh, to evaluate your answers so easily and uh, that uh, keywords or some other important points are to be underlined by you with the help of the uh, pencil and um, uh, the, you should always write only the relevant answers you see without understanding the question some of the students uh, what they are doing is they write some irrelevant answers uh, that should be avoided for example question number uh, especially that paragraph questions question number 41 to uh, 47 some students in um, a prose poem without understanding that uh, particular uh, question they write some irrelevant answers in this way they lose five marks so this is most important thing that's why i'm asking you to uh, go through the questions twice thrice and uh, know the answer correctly and make sure whether the your answer is to that uh, particular question or not once you have decided this then you can easily answer for those um, questions correctly and um, um, it, it's better for you to give much more importance for the handwriting. Handwriting is uh, more important. It should be legible. Uh, don't write hurriedly because uh, if you if your handwriting is not legible, it, it will be a great problem for the examiner when uh, they evaluate your answer sheet. And uh, if, if they can't understand your handwriting, so you, you may lose some marks and uh, you may not be able to score maximum marks. So therefore, uh, give much more importance for the handwriting, time management and write the uh, relevant um, answer for each and every question. The question number is more important and uh, uh, for 5 marks question from prose, um, poem and sublimant reader, as much as possible uh, write the synapses. So that would help uh, you to uh, write that answers uh, fully and uh, it would uh, be more helpful for the examiner also to evaluate your answers correctly. In the synapses, you can write that uh, uh, title, author, name, and uh, characters, theme, something like this. Uh, so these are all some important things. And um, uh, as I said earlier, uh, the handwriting plays a vital role. And it's better for you to write it neatly and legibly. 
and these are all some important uh, tips i would like to give you apart from this there are uh, some other uh, things and uh, that uh, you have already been instructed by the teacher in the classroom keeping all these thing in your mind and you need to uh, write your test correctly and i am sure that you will be able to uh, score very good marks um, thank you and uh, in your examination uh, i want you to uh, score very good marks so break a leg Thank you so much.